And this could very well look like I'm just trying to steal the bounty. Have a little think, but it's all going in. Pocket queens. Let the patience and the willpower and the discipline, let it pay off here. Not the action I was hoping for. It does have an over. Not hit it yet. <laughs> I had to say yet, didn't I? I had to say yet. Where is the justice, man? Where is the justice? I'm glad you find it funny. Glad you are amused. Today, things are a little bit different because I've logged on to Poker Stars and the site's down for some sort of update maintenance thing. I don't know what's going on. So I've actually come over to GG Poker to play a tournament that starts exactly the same time and it's pretty much exactly the same deal. It's 108 Bounty Hunters and it's pretty much the same thing. So rather than miss a day, we're going for this one and we're going to see how it goes. Now, yesterday, the plan was to play tight. That's what we're doing. No messing about. Day seven, this is the one. Here we go with pocket sixes. We go for a little cheeky raise in the cutoff. Got a lover pair in the calf. Jack two, three with two diamonds. Not a terrible flop for sixes. To get a flop with two undercards is pretty good going. So I'm going to see better. The Danny. The Danny from Brazil. We get a call and then get the seven of diamonds on the turn. Right. Just to check, right? Got to check that. Oh, that's a lot of diamonds. A very shiny board. Oh, I think I just have to check. Got a little bit of showdown value. Hope for the best. Got some sort of straight draw that missed or... A completely random ace nine. Played one pot, one one pot. Here we go. So that's the first break. Been going half an hour, and this playing tight thing isn't that much fun, is it? I've played one hand. Hopefully, it's going to pay off in the long run. But my obviously the blinds are going up, so my stack relatively is going down. We're sitting kind of middle of the pack. Still doable. Let's have it. I haven't been in hand since level one. We're now at the end of level six. Pocket fives in the big blind. Tight is right, it says check. So that's what I'm doing. Ace nine three, he checks it to me. Like yesterday I would have bet here, but today I'm checking. He checks again on the king of clubs turn. Oh, it hurts to check twice, I'm doing it though. Wow. Five of clubs and he bets. That does complete a flush draw and a possible straight draw. Trips is probably good. I think I bet and then have to fold to a raise maybe. We'll see, I've done nothing worldwide. Absolutely nothing. He folds, we win a small pot. Woo! That's been a long time coming. The gods favoured me with that river. We win a tiny one, but 32 big blinds coming into level seven. This playing tight, not exciting at the minute. Now it's not that I've been playing particularly tight. I just haven't had any cards. So it's what it's a weird trillionaire's in, of course he is, because he's got playing every hand pretty much. Just haven't been getting any cards to play with. This is the first decent hand I've seen. We've got ace queen hearts and it comes king queen four. See now trillionaire with uh trillionaire plays everything. You not so much. And what are you calling with? Initially raised. This one hurts to fold. That hurts to fold. 
And then it goes, check, check, you're kidding me. If he hasn't called, I'm raising him. When he calls, I have to get out of there. And he's turns out he's got nothing. Well, feels like we're down to one move poker. Ten big blinds, and I've got a pair. I've got a pair, so I'm doing it. I'm going for it. Pretty pie. Pretty pie. Looks like they play a lot of hands, and they're playing this one. What are you playing with, sir? King Jack. It's fair flip. Now behave. Got lots of outs there, son. We have to peel. We don't want to see a face guard. It's an ace. Oh, that's a much needed double. Right. Maybe this move to the new table is what we needed. And things are going to perk up right now. Well, that is a nice hand to see on the big blind. It makes a very pleasant change. All right, the cutoff opens. The button has called. I'm not messing about. We're shoving. Happy to take the blinds here. Happy just to add, not just the blinds, you know what I mean. Happy just to collect it. Maxim, you don't need to do anything crazy. You're just dead money. You called the raise on the button because you've got yeah, a little bit of something, but not really. Good lad. And he's out of there. Wish I'd just flatted. <laughs> oh, well. We're moving up. Just need the card distribution to go in our favour as well. Because we've been so card dead for the first hour of this tournament. Maybe things are turning around. Queen Jack. Late position is an open. It is an open. Pretty sure it's an open against the Poker Tourist and Elv Elvis Edson. I don't know what that is all about. Poker Tourist has called. We've got A7 3. I think I represent the Ace and hope that he doesn't have one. No, he's got one. That's unfortunate. Oh my days. Let's give him two pair just to rub it in. Oh, boat him up. Boat him up. How's he not shoving with an ace there? With what, 10 bigs? I think I'm shoving with an ace there. Don't put him on an ace. Well, that double up has gone. Didn't last long, did it? I'm beating myself up a little bit. It's, was that reckless after I've played so tight this whole, what, hour and 15 minutes or whatever? But I really can't put him on an ace there when I think about it because, like I said, most people, I think, are shoving with an ace in that position. So I bet to try and get him off because I have got more aces than him in my range. So... In my head, it makes sense. I don't think it was a crazy play. Looks kind of crazy, I guess. But what do you think? Help me. Please help me. Was that the right thing to do? Or was it just stupid? Let me know in the comments. Well, we're back to needing a miracle. Pocket sixes could be that miracle that I require. Lip mesh has opened under the gun. Shuxa has called in the cutoff. The Venom has also called. Feels like there's a lot of dead money. 11 bigs. I feel like I've only got to get past Lipnesh. But shuxa has got big V-pip, so could well be in for the bouncy. He might fancy it, even though it's a min bounty and not really up for much. Yes, that's nice. That's a huge pickup. That's a lovely pickup. I will take that. Wow, wow, wow. Poker tourist. I've got a big blind hand. I have 14 blinds. I've got ace king. We're going to run it. Level 11. Here we go. Good luck. Good luck. Very expecting a call. Very expecting a call. 
that's not good English. But we've got two overs against his jacks. There's one of them. Oh, I've got to do the reveal. Right, we don't want paint. We don't want paint. It's not paint. Another nice double. I think. I think. No, no, I'm sure. This is our peak chip stack. 21,000. That's double. Blah, blah, double starting stack. Got egg in my face. I had ace jack, mate. No, I didn't. I had ace king, mate. What do you want? What do you want from me? We're still going. Eight minutes till the end of late, Reg. Day seven, baby. Day seven. So that's the second break, and we're still in on one bullet with 26 bigs. Middle of the road, uh, middle of the pack. It's not the most exciting poker a lot of the time. There's a lot of folding going on. But maybe this tight strategy is the way forward. Let's get back into it and see what we can do now. Because first hand back from the break. Ooh, got pocket sevens. It's early position, but I am going to raise it up. And we'll see what happens because it's not a terrible hand. It's not a great hand. Remember that. Remember that. It's not a great hand. It's also not terrible. Shucks is in. Maxim. I want to see a flop, son. I don't want you to go crazy here. Flop is the way forward. Seven high flop. Not king, nine, queen. Ay caramba. Ay caramba. In the small blinds. You would think that hits them a lot. My initial reaction is to see bet, but I'm not going to because it's possible that that flop hits them. It should hit them, but they've got a very big V pip, so they could be playing anything. The board pairs, and I think I have to chuck some money in this time. I can't check it twice. Nice. We'll take that. It's a great way to start the hour. We're up to 30 bigs. Oh my days. And look at that. We go straight into another one. Ace, King of Hearts. Again, opening it up. This time I can stand a three bet if anyone wants to do it. This time I can withstand a three bet. Shucks are again. Okay. We hit top pair. Venom is also in. Ace, 10, two, two clubs. I think I want to go, I do want to see bet, but maybe a little bit bigger because of its connectivity. You know, flush is potato, wow. Okay. Right, moment of truth. This is for all the marbles. <laughs> Jack me, baby. Jack me, baby. Where is the justice, man? Where is the justice? And our tournament life is on the line. This is it. How it's it's brutal, isn't it? Absolutely brutal. All that time. We get pocket sevens, we win get ace king and hit an ace high flop and then mr active over there it's two pair it's painful it's painful need a miracle here need a miracle just to stay in the game that's not it ah oh, can you give me a 10 a little cheeky 10 close but no cigar what a disaster. It was all going so well. And then three hands in succession from the break. And we're done. See you later. Going to have to be day eight.